<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For today's video, I am going to be talking about Pat McGrath palettes that are sadly leaving my collection. I will no longer be able to reference these palettes if you missed it. And I don't know how you did because I talk about this all the time. <laughs> back in the day when I graduated college and I moved back in with my parents, I had just started my YouTube channel. I was collecting makeup. My mother is equally as obsessed with beauty as myself. So when launches would come out, we would go half on them because I mean, it just made sense. We paid half the price. It would travel between our makeup collections and there was no ending of that happening in the foreseeable future. And the foreseeable future has came and I'm being a big girl, I'm moving out. <laughs> so our collections are going through a divorce, pretty much. And this is what I'm losing in the divorce. Now obviously, I kind of have priority considering this is my job, but I've known I was moving for like the last year and a half-ish or so. So I've slowly been adding palettes so that my mom could keep her palettes every time a palette went on sale and stuff like that. So luckily, there are no big motherships in today's video. The last one that I got was Decadence. That was the one I needed to complete my big mothership palette because <laughs> you got me messed up if you think I'm gonna not have a big mothership palette. So these are like smaller, older palettes. But as you know, it's fun to go down memory lane. Make sure you check out my Natasha Denona video of that. But let's talk about these palettes that my mom won and that I do not get. So the first two I am not sad about at all. I was going to be sad, but not anymore, and I'll explain why. So these are the very, very limited Star Wars palette that Pat McGrath did in collaboration with Star Wars. I wasn't gonna win these. My mom loves Star Wars. She loves these palettes. I was gonna be really depressed when I moved because you cannot get your hands on these. Luckily, she came out with the holiday palette last year, which actually had all 12 of these colors within the palette. So I was like, mom, you get these two, I'm buying the new palette. So that's why I'm not sad anymore. I have these colors, but let's take a look at them. I'm gonna come a little bit closer for some swatches. I guess we'll kind of make this a little swatch and sippy, sipping on the water. Here is the first palette right here. I don't know anything about Star Wars, so I have no clue who this is, but this is the Dark Galaxy palette. And if you weren't into Pat McGrath at the time that this came out, because this is older, this might be fun for you. So here are the colors. I believe these are like the first six colors in the holiday palette from last year or two years ago, I guess now at this point. And these are so beautiful. I love this palette. This palette was my favorite of the two at the time before we knew they were gonna come back in a different palette because it's purple and you guys know I love me some purple. Actually, let me turn the lights down like a little bit. There, you can see the colors better. And then, ugh. These two shades right here made the prettiest look. Didn't care for the gold, but Pat can't live without her gold palettes. So here we are. This is the Dark Galaxy palette that I'm leaving behind, but I still have the colors. So not sad about this one, but how pretty is this? You can imagine, though, before I knew I'd get these colors in my collection, I've been dreading moving out. <laughs> because of this palette. <laughs> the other one that came out with the Star Wars collection is the Galactic Gold palette. Love the packaging of this. I mean, such special packaging. I will give them that. If I cared about Star Wars, I'd be super sad about leaving the packaging behind. But this one is also really pretty. Love the purpley tones in here, but of course it has a lot more warmer hints. They look different when they're, you know, in their own packaging. I like view them different and the color story is different. So we'll just do this on the bottom half of my arm. Excuse moi. So pretty, let's get the last three. And here are the last three, look at that. Mm. So here they are on my finger. I mean, both are beautiful and they work together well for the one eye look to mix both together. I guess that's why they're in a palette now, but these are both of the Star Wars palettes that I'm leaving behind. If you were not a fan of Pat McGrath, let me tell you, these sold out, I swear, in seconds. My mom is so lucky that she got her hands on these because she was the one that ordered them. I think I was like working that, that day or something, but yeah. 
awesome. They sold out so fast. So that packaging is definitely extremely, extremely limited. And by the way, normally I like to at least wear one of the palettes that I'm talking about in a video. Gotta do a lot of pre-filming for that whole moving situation that I talked about. So I'm wearing the Odin's Eye and Angelica collaboration. Yeah, it's it's freaking gorgeous. So not wearing Pat McGrath today, unfortunately. I wish I had the time. Okay, let's move on to quite an old set of palettes. Two of them. I have the third palette that launched. But these are from a holiday collection a few years ago. Actually really, really sad about leaving these behind. These are so good. I wish you would relaunch these. So the first one here is Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze. <gasps> This one I'm really depressed about because look at this color story, you guys. I'm having fun showing you these. If you haven't been a fan of Pat McGrath for that long because you don't know that these color stories exist, this is so beautiful. Like, this is a loss to me. These cooler tone neutrals. Oh, my goodness. These palettes are so old. Like, she definitely needs to relaunch these. Look at that. If you like those cooler neutrals like me, you would love, look, oh, uh, the sh honestly, has her shimmer quality gone down? Because these are just pure butter, oh my goodness, and these are so old, seriously you guys, this is why I like to pay so much money for luxury eyeshadows, they just last forever, okay, this one is so pretty too, all of them just different mixtures of like, chocolatey, taupey colors. If this was still available to you guys and it wasn't so old, this would definitely be one of my favorite neutral palettes. This is so wearable. Pat McGrath, you need to come out with a big 10 pan mothership based around this chocolatey color story because we do not have a neutral brown color story from Pat McGrath. Basic, I know, but can you imagine these six shades, and then four extra glimmery shade. Pat, put me on your marketing. That would go over so well. That's definitely missing from your line. And then the other palette that came out along with this one is the Bronze Ambition. I have tutorials on all of these. This, these came out literally when I first created my channel four years ago. So stunning, okay. This one's kind of more warm bronzy tones, again. This could be a fun 10 pan mothership palette. No, look at that. These are nice as well. So these are super wearable, you guys. I feel like a lot of you tell me you wish Pat McGrath would come out with something more neutral and wearable. She came out with them four years ago. Now she'd just be coming out with roses, but <laughs> she has the ability to come out, obviously, with these gorgeous neutral brown tones. As you can see, look at that. This, as a palette from Pat McGrath in 2022, I'm putting it out into the universe. Make this happen because, wow, look at that. Them glimmery shades added on top of this. So nice. I'd also love to see her come out with a, another Blitz Astral quad because those are awesome as well. But digging these, <laughs> gonna miss these a lot actually. It's been a while since I played with them since they've been stashed away in my mom's collection. But I really, I'm going to miss those. <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> kind of sad about that. The next one is the Sublime Bronze Temptation. So this is another holiday launch. I want to say like from three years ago. Really pretty. Love all the jewels on here. And this is a color story that honestly I don't really love. It's one of my least favorite Pat McGrath color stories. It's very holiday-y, but it's boring. I don't think I liked the quality of this shadow, but let's... Let's see. I just remember not being like, I need to have this one, so I'm not so sad about leaving this one. You know, we have these two tones, these three tones in every <laughs> every single Pat McGrath palette. Not to be dramatic, but you know it's true. And then, let's get to the green. I just remember feeling like the green was kind of out of place. Hmm, I haven't used it in so long, I can't even really remember. I guess the quality is fine, but it just fell out of place to me. And take the green away. Oh my gosh, you have this in every single Pat palette, right? That green is really nice looking though. Mm, that makes me want to pop it on my eyelid. Anyways, <laughs> so this is this palette that I'm leaving behind. But I do just remember not being in love with this one in general. So, toodaloo. 
I have the other palettes that came out with this holiday collection that I like a lot more. Those will be coming with me. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this red here is like duochrome. It's like, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there. Gold to red. And I thought that looked a little funky on the eyeballs. I don't know. I love to look and swatch duochrome and multichromes. You guys know this. I do this like at night. I just come in and swatch things. <laughs> and I'm always covered in eyeshadow powder. And as much as I love to look at the multichromes, I never really like the way they look on my eye. I just feel like they look weird. Okay, anyways, this next one came out for Lunar New Year a couple years ago. This is the Golden Opulence palette. And this one, I just feel like didn't have the best quality. These shadows are not as buttery. I don't really like this palette. I don't feel inspired by it. So this is one that I'm not really sad to leave behind. I did film a rankings recently and this was like towards the bottom. I mean, dang, they look like they swatch really pretty though, <laughs> don't they? But you can tell these aren't as creamy. The formula just it feels drier. It just doesn't feel quite the same. And let's get this one in with all of the rosy tones we have in Pat McGrath, and there's always a light shimmer, there's always a matte brown. We just have this palette, it's just like recycled colors from her in my opinion. But you know what's crazy? Even when Pat McGrath does it bad, she still does it good. <laughs> like this is still a really good palette. It's just not my favorite compared to what you can get for what you spend at Pat McGrath. So um, yeah, bye. <laughs> Like the packaging, kind of like how it looks like the Chinese envelope for Lunar New Year, but yeah. Let me throw it in. Last one. See, this one's not that bad. I think Natasha Denona is more traumatic for me. <laughs> the losses for Natasha Denona, I feel some type of way about. Most of these, I'm like, okay, it's time. They're old anyways. So lastly, I have this quad. And I don't know why I can't remember the name of this. Because my mom has thrown the box away. I keep all my boxes. They're art to me. My mom straight up throws the boxes away. Okay, what is it? Iconic Illumination? I think that's what this one is. Let me double check. Yeah, this one is Iconic Illumination, and this is super random, but you can buy this at Sephora. This is quite old, but anyways, I'm, a, I'm actually quite sad to leave this one behind. I freaking love this brown shade. It's one of the best quality browns you will find for a everyday brown kind of smoky eye. I don't like this red pop here, but anyways, you get like a really nice glittery shade. That's her special formula. You get a nice rich kind of red, you get a nice boring gold that she always likes to add, and then this shade right here is my favorite in the quad. The quality is just unmatched, but look at that. Okay, here we go. I mean, this color is so versatile. You ever want to put a Pat McGrath glimmer on your lid, you have this. Then good quality, but I rarely ever use shades like that. Then the classic gold that Pat McGrath can't help herself with. And then this shade all over the lid. I love this shade so much. But anyways, it's it's not a huge loss for me, I suppose. But I am definitely going to miss it. I want to say this summer. I stole this from my mom for a little bit. And I used it for a few days. And I was like, well, I love it. I love it. But yeah, it's time for this one to go. And I gotta say goodbye to it. But anyways, those are all of the Pat McGrath palettes that are leaving my collection that I will no longer have ownership of. That's okay though, you guys know I'm very lucky to now be in a different situation and I'm able to purchase everything that Pat launches from now on. And yeah, it's always fun I feel like to look down memory lane because these are a lot older launches anyways. And for those of you who didn't see these launches, I think it's kind of fun to see what Pat McGrath came out with a while ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you are because I have a lot more videos coming. I post almost every day. I take a day or two off a week, but I post a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.